Hi, this is your host, Dr. Agnes Cabredo, for another lesson on good English. This time, we focus on words. After all, words, they say, are the only forever at these times. They are more durable than the hills. Words make you understand and be understood by English speakers. I picked out 20 popular words which are often misused. In these times, we have to learn how to pronounce them and how to understand what they mean. The first word is sapina. Sapina. It is silent B. Sapina. This is a court order given to a person or sent to a person to go to court to answer a few questions. So, subpoena does not indicate accusation. No. Next, indict. Indict. Remember, drop the C. When a person is formally charged in court for a crime committed, then it is said that the person was indicted in court. Next is connoisseur. This is a French word which means expert. A connoisseur has a fine taste, especially for wine, for food, for cuisines. He's taken to be an expert judge for his taste of high caliber, connoisseur. So he is respected for his expertise. Connoisseur, connoisseur, connoisseur. Next is demean, demean. Drop the S. It means estate. The king enjoyed a view of his demean. It's an estate for which he has formal ownership. Next is gourmet. Gourmet. This can refer to a person with refined or discriminating taste who is knowledgeable in the craft or art of food and food preparation. A gourmet chef is a chef of particular high caliber in cooking talent and skills. And what do you call a person who has great appetite for food? We call him gourmand, gourmand. Next, masur. Masur is male, one who gives the services of a, of massage, of massage. And Monsignor, Monsignor is a title used by the church, by the Catholic Church, to address a high official in church. So, a bishop, 
perhaps has the title of Monsignor. Next, restive. A restive crowd is a crowd which is unable to remain quiet and still. It is difficult to control because this restive crowd is impatient, dissatisfied, bored, so restless, restless. Next is faux pas. Faux pas. Faux pas. It's a bridge of protocol or it is a violation of etiquette. In the nobility, to burp in public is faux pas. When you are invited to a formal gathering, it is faux pas. If you dress up informally, use t-shirt, use maong, use an informal attire is faux pas. And when you do not receive a visitor, a high official, in a respectable manner, that is a bridge, breach of protocol. That is faux pas, faux pas. Noisance, noisome. Noisome is indicative of an extremely offensive smell arising from a smoldering or unpleasant waste. Waste which is being burned gives a noisome, a foul, disagreeable smell. Noisome. Next, dilatory is an adjective. It means slow to act. Like the manager was dilatory in his appointment of an assistant, slow to act on the appointment of a person to assist him. Enervating. Causing one to feel drained of energy and vitality. Like the enervating humidity of the coast makes one person feel lousy, sloppy, bored. Factitious, factitious. Sometimes people pretend that they are not well, they are sick. This situation of appearing not well is factitious, is factitious. Sometimes people purposely act factitious, makes known that they are weak, they are sick, and therefore cannot make it to an appointment. Factitious. Next is sergeant. Sergeant. In French, very often E is sounded as A. Therefore, sergeant is an officer below a lieutenant. It's a low-ranking officer, sergeant, client. So French, E becomes A, client. A lawyer, 
has client to attend to. Very often. And he obliges himself to give time to his client. And when you have a number of clients, a number of customers who patronize your service, whether you're a lawyer or a store manager, you have a number who patronize your service. That big number, that group is called clientele clientele. Next is rendezvous. Rendezvous. Again, be consistent. French, the E becomes A. Therefore, rendezvous. And drop the S. Drop the S. The final S for French words are dropped. So, rendezvous is a meeting place. Usually, between two people, is a place where they prefer to stay. They prefer to have their meeting. So, rendezvous. Avoid your rendezvous. You cannot avoid your rendezvous with that. Next is chauffeur. 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 This is the person hired to drive for a private person or a company. So, the job of the person is to give service in driving, in taking a person to his destination or place of work. Next is Shami. 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 This is a piece of cloth used for wiping metallic surfaces or buff a vehicle. Shami. And chassis. Chassis is the underlying structure of a car on which the body of the car is mounted. Chassis. Kel. Kel. This is an oven for drying patteries or for drying a car, which is being brought to a shop for painting. Kel. Co co. Co co. Refers to chocolate powder which is produced from grinding co co or grinding cacao seeds. Cacao seeds are made into powder and this becomes chocolate which is used for candies, for baking, or for culinary purposes. I hope I have enriched your vocabulary and I promise to do this more often so that we can have more facility, more tools to speak of our ideas and be able to communicate orally and in writing. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. notification so that you will have a view of our next present.